Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here, and this playlist on YouTube is going to be a tutorial series on the pixel tape, more specifically the Alation Flex Tape. Now, a couple of things I want to really talk about in this video is what is pixel tape, and what can you use it for, and what do you need for it. Well, first thing is pixel tape. This is the actual pixel tape right here. Now, this is really cool because unlike traditional LED tape that's just RGB, this one is individually pixel controlled. So that means that with a proper controller, you can create some really unique designs. Now, it's got this rubber casing, so you can use this indoors or outdoors. But it does not mean that this is break proof, meaning you can't sit there and bend it back and forth. Pixel tape by the nature is very fragile, so you got to be careful how you handle it. This means that if you're planning on using it for mobile events, do expect on breakages, especially as you undo them in and out. So this isn't exactly something for mobile use. It can be done, you just got to be very careful with it. Each pixel tape comes in a 10 foot spool and you have your connectors for in and out as well as a power supply connector. More on that later. Now speaking of power supplies, this is exactly what you need. Now, this is a 5 volt, uh, 5 amp. This is not a 12 volt pixel tape, it is a 5 volt. And then last but not least, we need a control surface. Now I use the Easy Cling as opposed to the ELAR driver because the Easy Cling, instead of using ArtNet, I can use ClingNet technology. And if you're not familiar with ClingNet, watch the video right here that explains what ClingNet is and why it's so cool. But the Easy Cling box allows me to control the pixel tape either with ClingNet, ArtNet, or even via DMX. So you have lots of possibilities. Now this box will drive this tape without a power supply, but I don't recommend it because this only gives about, I think, half an amp out, 500 milliamps. So if you're going to run all white or even if you try to strobe it, if it strobes white, it immediately shuts down the box because the power demand is too much. Now, the next video is going to talk about how to connect it together, including how to use it with Easy Cling, ArtNet, and if you live life dangerously, DMX as well. So make sure you guys subscribe. So again, this is using the Alation Flex Tape. And I absolutely love this tape. Again, as you can see, you can use this indoors or outdoors. And it is properly encased, so water will not get in. It connects very easily to it. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I'm going to do a video later on how it connects and how you can add more tape back and forth. You can actually connect it with these little connectors right here, or a lot of times you can just splice the tape together. Again, you have the easy cling box and the power supply. So if this is something you guys want to get into, and this isn't just for professional installations, I'm actually going to buy a whole bunch of these to do around my house so that way we'll never have to do Christmas lights again. During light up autism, our entire house will be uh, blue. During any special holidays, you know, Halloween, we'll do oranges. I mean, you could do some really cool things even for personal use. And I'm also going to use them around my Christmas tree too, so that'll be fun. But in a club, for example, the installation that we did at Centro DF in DC, the pixel tape looks absolutely stunning. Inside trussing, it's beautiful. It's just a really unique way. And despite it being a very thin, short set of LEDs in here, they are pretty bright. So again, subscribe to the playlist, share with your friends. If you guys have any questions, any requests as you see me do more and more tutorials on these, please leave the comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night and God bless.